Spaniels with Dr. Judy Morgan. My usual friends are here. It is a beautiful sunny morning. Got up to 89 yesterday. That's nuts. It was 30 last week. <laughs> we go from one extreme to the next. Spent the night in the ER with a pup with HG and pancreatitis. Ugh. It's no fun. Remember, you can purchase all of Dr. Morgan's products at her website at www.drjudy.com. Good afternoon from the UK. <laughs> now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right. Um, this is an appropriate topic, talking about digestive system this morning, because right when I was ready to go live, Hugh poked his head in the door and said, have you gone live yet? No. Well, there's something behind the curio cabinet. Yeah, that something behind the curio cabinet was some really nasty... I'm going to go with cat diarrhea. I don't think the dogs can get back there. Um, but it was not pretty, and I haven't seen anything like that in the litter box, so... I guess one of my cats is sick. This is the problem with cats. You know, figuring it out. Anyway... Um, so something came up online uh, a couple days ago, and um, somebody said, oh, I never heard that. I didn't know that. Uh, and I thought, well, then I better talk about that. And I know I've talked about it before, but, um, you know, things get lost in the shuffle. So whether you're making your own food, feeding raw food, um, whatever you're feeding, it needs to be fed close to body temperature so room temperature to body temperature if you stick your finger in it it should feel just you know not cold shouldn't have a chill on it so for those of us who make our own food and we're um, or using a, a prepared frozen raw food you need to thaw it out in the refrigerator and then when you take it from the refrigerator you shouldn't put it directly into the bowl uh, it needs to be warmed up in some way and a lot of people have a lot of different ways to warm it up. Some people will put it in the microwave for a few seconds. At our house, we have instant hot water in our water cooler, so I add some uh, some of the instant hot water, um, which is hot enough to make a cup of tea, so it's pretty hot. Uh, and I just add enough to the food that I've taken out of the refrigerator to mix it and bring it up to room temperature so that it's not cold when they eat it. Um, if you're uh, if you don't want to add, if your dog doesn't like it soupy or you don't want to use your microwave, you can take a baggie or container of the food and put the container in a bowl of real hot water and let it warm up that way. Um, a lot of different ways to do it. You can add uh, a warm bone broth. But the spleen is the digestive system. So the earth system is our middle. The earth is the middle. And that includes the stomach and spleen, the two organs uh, that are part of the earth system and uh, so the stomach that's easy to equate with digestion but when we think spleen we think that kind of brown red organ that lies next to the stomach and doesn't have a dang thing to do with digestion um, but the spleen system from a TCVM standpoint is the digestive system and the digestive system doesn't like two things it doesn't like cold and it doesn't like damp and the reason it doesn't like cold and damp is because that produces stagnation. And stagnation means that the energy stops flowing, the blood stops flowing. Think about when you get cold outside and your toes go numb. It's because the blood stopped flowing through your toes and getting to your extremities. The blood is going to circulate in the areas that need to be protected the most. That's going to be your brain, your heart, your internal organs. So... 
the digestive system gets very sluggish if we feed things that are cold we get stagnation so more of that erping burping um, for a lot of dogs when people tell me their dog is raw fed and has acid reflux that may mean that one the protein that they're eating may not agree with them there's something in the diet that doesn't agree or the temperature of the food doesn't agree or maybe instead of eating raw food that dog needs their food gently cooked because the raw food can be stagnating beef can be heavy and stagnating lamb can be heavy and stagnating so we have to look at what they're eating and how we're feeding it and do what works best for the dog now our dogs do very well on a uh, raw food that is warmed and soupy um, the thing is even though the spleen doesn't like damp our dogs are not excessively damp first of all two of them are on diuretics for their hearts but second they really don't drink very much because their food it has all the moisture that they need and that's another question that i get people that switch from a dry kibble to a homemade gently cooked or raw food uh, or even a commercial gently cooked or raw they uh, people get really shocked and uh, concerned that their dog is no longer or cat is no longer drinking we don't see them at the water bowl i never see our cats at the water bowl they're on a high moisture diet uh, that's normal that's normal they're getting the moisture from their food the way that they they need to so this is just a friendly reminder warm up the food we don't want to feed it cold okay your dog had a spleen removed last week yeah nothing special moving forward really I'm glad it was benign that was a good thing um, ice cream has so much sugar and sugar causes yeast issues in ears and skin yeah sugar does um, I mean it frankly for people we're people in Europe and people in um, the Far East they don't put ice in their drinks they don't drink their beer cold uh, it's because they're smart enough to know that cold causes stag stagnation and that's not the way we're supposed to uh, take care of our digestive system okay <laughs> hitting so many issues you've had the past few days all right uh, got to go to the farm got to feed the, the big animals and the chickens we turned the light off over the baby chicks last night because it was so darn hot we thought you know welcome to whoops. breakfast with spaniels Oh, you're getting the intro. Uh, it was so hot in the barn, we thought, well, they really don't need their heat lamp, but it went down to 57 overnight, so hopefully they're okay. I don't think the barn cooled off probably below 67 or 70, so. Uh, oh, endoscopy diagnosed with IBD on the biopsies. Shocking. <laughs> That's all they ever come up with. Um showing eosinophils. Yeah, you got to find something that's a novel protein that uh, he's not allergic to. I generally will try cod or rabbit as my first choice. Can you warm it up in a Ziploc bag submerged in water? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, hi, Joe. <laughs> Yours love it frozen. Yeah, don't feed it frozen. It's really bad for them in the long run. If you're desperate and you got to do it once or twice. I had to do it once when we were without power for a few days. Had to take my frozen patties out and feed them frozen the dogs didn't even know what to do with it <laughs> it took them forever to eat them <laughs> yeah if your dog has kidney disease needs some carbs sweet potato or pumpkin be fine okay 